Ow. If a full set of three rods is unavailable, there's one rod in the inner study rooms which might work in case the elevator breaks down again. Unless unless it is absolutely necessary, always use the spare rods in the storage before using a mended one. But I feel like we're gonna have to use a mended one. Get back there. I can hear him. I don't think he's happy about the boxes that I pounded on top of his head. He might be gone. He's gone. Okay. I really just have to make a break for it. And then I'll be fine. And we will make it out safely. Hey, bud. Here, come over here! Wait, I think I saw a tinderbox. I did. Later! Sucker. Oh, jeez. Oh, what? 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 No. Here. Take that. Oh, oh my god, oh, he's, he's sprinting, he is sprinting! Oh, oh god, oh, oh, ah! Has increased speed. Oh shit! No. Oh. Okay, just just continue running forward. Gosh, my head. Oh, barely conscious. Um. Uh, good. Okay. Okay. Not bad. Just gotta make it forward. Just gotta just gotta go forward. He's still behind me. How about we just try to make it out of here? Ah! Okay. Come on, Daniel. Come, you're so close to the exit. Come on, bud. Come on, buddy. Need it. Okay. Whew. Professor Taylor was the second death caused by his damn curiosity. Ow. I should be fine with that. Did we find this place? An old friend back in Algiers gave me a map. Why isn't he with us? Didn't he want to come? He wanted to, Daniel, but things don't always turn out the way we planned. Okay, now we can go into the study room. The strange letter frightened him, but it was also the only one which offered him comfort. Or offered some comfort. Same difference. Okay. I just I just love the idea of just breaking glass. No, we can't just safely remove it. We have to break it. Daniel, this is a pretty lit up room. Fine, All right.
Wait. Something's outside. That doesn't seem friendly. Okay, how did rocks get even get here? Are we like on the side of a mountain? Find another way around rubble in the study. Uh heard screaming. Whatever. Let's see what you have to offer. <clears throat> ah, what a mess. I should have sharpened the saw, but I can sense it. It's definitely there. This is a horrible spot for your bone collection. At least put it on the shelves. You have enough space. Here, I'll do it. See? Put the skulls on the shelves and just put them alphabetically. Here, dog. Don't worry, that's not your front lawn. That's the game. Easy. Unbelievable. I'm like the mate here. an idea. Anything else on the outside? No, not really. Okay. What? What is this place? Okay, here we gotta we gotta throw stuff out out of the building. Call for help. help! This just winds up knocking somebody out. When will it be my turn? Have I not shown restraint? My patience spans centuries. From where I came, mankind has not even wasted a breath. Yet I bow down to you. I have done so much for you, and I have gained nothing in return. Agrippa, I trusted you. It was I who, in all fairness, should have entered that gate. That you should have, buddy. That you should have. Ooh, hey. Got a little bit left. 
If the elevator breaks again, make sure to use the steam engine to build up pressure before channeling it into the machinery. Adjust the levers to get the right amount of pressure inside the chamber. The meters should read up 8 and down 8. Make sure the flow is set according to the following chart. Trinity steam set functions for phase out. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, hey. Really? Okay, I guess that's it. Do we just head back? Yep. Parkour. Sir William Smith had been marked. There was no way for him to know that the young man from the other day cast such a terrible shadow. Amen. There is a surprising amount of mold here. The river is red now. Hey, there's a corpse here. Can I jump in here? Oh god! Ah! Okay. Now. I got a key for the machine room. We can go in. First, Professor Taylor was the second death caused by his damned curiosity. Okay, we should be relatively safe here. Hold it. 5th of July, 1839. Today, I went to the university looking for answers. I was able to sneak into Herbert's office and pick up an address book along with some relevant textbooks. Professor Taylor at the Faculty of History was very helpful and I managed to approach the subject of the orbs. The most interesting aspect was the prevalent trace they had left in our culture. The mythic orbs may in fact have inspired the Globus Crucifer which so many royal regalia holds to this day. In ancient times, the orbs were held by priests as a symbol of the sun and its power. As I was leaving, I overheard a disturbing conversation. Sir William Smith, the geologist, was killed last night. Less than a fortnight had passed since I'd asked for his expertise. I know it's silly, but I can't help feeling responsible somehow. Oh, hey, here's the thing. I think uh, I... Uh, let's focus on getting things done first. Like putting the pistons in. And then we'll solve that. And... My tiny brain cannot handle this. It is 2 in the morning right now. Eh, yeah, we'll wait. I feel like this is important. I did nothing. What about this? July 1839. I've read every book I can find on the subject. While rich in legend and hearsay, my knowledge is lack for the insight I crave. I've sent letters to many in Herbert's address book and received answers of varying importance. Today, I got one which differed greatly from the others. From a baron in Prussia. He said nothing about the quaint stories of priests in underground temples. He didn't even mention them. He simply wrote, I know. I can protect you. Come to Brennenburg Castle. Signed, Alexander. 
What am I to make of this? Protect me from what? Is someone after me? I looked up Brennenberg and traced it to the Prussian woods near the Baltic Sea. While being the least informative letter I've received, it causes me greatest distress and interest. As I write, my thoughts are drawn to my nightmares in which a most disturbing sound calls to me. A sound defying description. A voice from the void. The last few weeks have been awful, with so many sleepless nights dreading a repeat of those horrid dreams. Tomorrow, I shall visit my physician, Dr. Tate, in hope that he can provide me with sedatives to help me sleep. And yet no feedback on the puzzle. I'm confused. I think I need these, genuinely. We're gonna drag these down with us. Worst case scenario, we can use this as a weapon. And bash the Saturn again. I guess let's put all of them in. Oh, I'm getting Vizura to clean up detail flashbacks. Oh, here's the last thing. Perfect. Now we'll just run. Okay, that's a good start. But, hmm. Guess we need to assemble everything correctly before we can start it. Makes sense. Alright. Oh, eight up and down eight. Oh, wait, hang on. 17th of July, 1839. How has this escaped me? They're all dead. Limbs scattered, head split down the middle, their skin flayed as if boiled. I feel like I'm falling into myself. What's happening? Sir William Smith, Professor Taylor, now Dr. Tate. Is it following me? How can it not be? It's the damn thing I brought from Africa. Something is after me. I have no choice but to trust the Baron. He better know what he claims. If he is wrong, I suspect he'll regret it as well. You know what I just realized? Oh, oh my god, are you serious? Quad or square. Oh my god, Trinity for a triangle. 
Are you serious? God damn it, that was... I that's, that's my brain. It, listen, man, it's been a long day. All right, do it. Excuse me? What? Well, yeah, it could just be these two. There we go, done. Brain power. That should be it. And we're set. Take the elevator. More meatballs. Actually kind of looks like ice cream, now that I think about it. I cook at the meatball. I'm gonna have to step under, aren't I? I don't want to. He panted heavily, trying his best to keep himself from screaming. The medicine cabinet had been overturned and lay collapsed on the floor. He reached through the broken glass door and grabbed all the sedatives he could find. Oh, this place is not a happy camper. I can't even go back. Not that I'd want to, but at least those guys can't get me, right? Right. Journey of hell, here we go. Again. The strange letter frightened him, but it was also the only one which offered him comfort. Get that rock. Go down. Go up. Go up. Go up. 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 The dark towers of Bredenburg rose above the forest and were silhouetted against a snow-weight mountain. He couldn't help feeling sad for some reason. <laughs> 